So in uh, a previous video, we looked at the effect of, of wing sweep back, and we saw that by sweeping back a wing, we were able to move the aircraft forward at a, at a faster velocity, at a higher velocity. So how does that apply to uh, my propeller? But if I have a, a high-speed propeller blade, it has the same sweep back function. There is some sweep back on the propeller. And this allows um, the airflow over the propeller blade to, to increase. We can increase it a little bit faster because the velocity of the airflow normal to the propeller would be that bit less. So let's uh, just look at a high speed propeller. And they have this shape, and this shape is called a scimitar, and it's after the scimitar uh, sword. So a scimitar propeller has the same shape as the scimitar sword, but it does have this sweep back effect, and that allows us to have a faster airflow over the over the propeller blade. So let's have a look at that. So here is my uh, high-speed propeller, and it's rotating around, and this is the side view of it. And we know that for any airfoil section, the lift is half times the coefficient of lift, rho s uh, v squared, where s is the area of uh, the wing, normally, and this is the coefficient of lift. If we're dealing with a propeller blade, then the lift becomes thrust, the coefficient of lift changes the coefficient of thrust, uh, and everything else remains the same. The area S is the area of the blades. The other thing that changes is, is the velocity. Because the airflow over the propeller blade, this wing airflow here, is the combination of the aircraft velocity and the propeller uh, velocity, omega r. So the V squared is equal to VA squared plus omega squared, Pythagoras' theorem. So my thrust equation then uh, becomes half coefficient of thrust times rho times s ba squared plus omega r squared. Now we're going to just uh, assume we're dealing with a particular propeller at the same uh, angle of attack. We're, we're going to be operating at the optimum angle of attack, you know, 4 degrees, 5 degrees. And we're at a constant altitude. So we're going to, just for this video, and we're going to assume that these values here are constant. So we're going to place them with the constant here. Now, the high speed design of the propeller blade, so this sweep back function, allows us to have a greater airflow over the propeller blade. And therefore, we can increase uh, velocity of the aircraft. We can increase VA. But if I have a given thrust value, so whatever the thrust value was, if I've now increased VA to keep this constant, if I've increased this, I can decrease omega r. And if I decrease omega r, then I decrease the centrifugal force acting on the propeller blades. Now the centrifugal force is a significant force acting on the blades uh, of the propeller, and there needs to be a lot of material in here, like a lot of it's a metal prop, a lot of metal here to withstand that force. So if I've reduced the force, the material here to withstand it doesn't need to be uh, as great. And if we need less material, then there might be a little bit more room in here in the hub for another blade. And if I put in another blade, then my value of S increases. So I've put in another blade. I now have a four-bladed propeller. And S has now increased. So if I've increased S for a given thrust value, this has now increased. That means I can decrease this a little bit further. And if I decrease that a little bit further, there will be less centrifugal force. That means there is a little bit more uh, room and 
I can put in another blade, and so on. So we get into this virtuous uh, circuit. So if, if we have an aircraft that flies at a high velocity, um, the scimitar shape reduces you know, the onset of, uh, of the, the Mach, of reaching the Mach number across the feather. And this high increased velocity reduces the, the need to rotate the propeller fast. That reduces centrifugal force which means we can have more propellers in the, in the hub. So an example uh, is the A400M. Uh, this is a high-speed propeller. And you can see here that there are eight blades. And you can just about make out that they are scimitar-shaped. And to reiterate, it's called a high-speed propeller because the aircraft can travel at high speed. Not the, not the propeller rotating at high speed. High speed propeller means the aircraft can travel at a high speed. Um, and this scimitar shape has been used in, in unducted fans. So this is a, essentially another type of propeller. You can again see the, the scimitar shape. And this particular engine uh, had been proposed for the A320neo back in 2011. Uh, I'm recording this in June 2020, but back, you know, just over nine years ago, uh, this was a proposal for the A320 year. And it wasn't anything radical because it had been tried before um, on uh, an MD-81 where they, they put uh, an unducted fan on, on that aircraft for, for testing purposes. And that happened, uh, I think, in early 1990s. You can check that out. Okay, so that's um, high-speed propellers in the scimitar shape uh, covered, and I hope that makes sense to you.